Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little craft video. And so I'm using two cameras right now. And you're probably wondering why she's using two cameras. But my laptop, um, it doesn't sync the video. So if you see me kind of, they're sitting right next to each other. If you kind of see me looking off, that's why. Um, but anyway, the video that I'm going to be doing today is a um, wine glass painting video. So I've been saying that I wanted to do this for the longest, but I was waiting to um, find the cord from my camcorder. And so I can't find it. And since I wanted to do this little project today, I'm like, well, let me just record it with this camera and just get it done. So about the getting all the paint and stuff out and ready and then I'm gonna show you and sorry about me sniffing like this I have a ooh, I have a um my allergies are acting up real bad but anyway the project stick you need of course is a glass any type of glass you want I got this glass from um the Dollar Tree and you will need some rubbing alcohol and that's just to um clean the glass off some paper towels some gloves i'm using latex gloves and we one more thing you need some tape sorry so i got the tape just in case i want to use it um <clears throat> last time i didn't use stencils but this time i'm going to be using some stencils that i got from uh AC Moore, which is a craft shop down here. Um, I don't know if I showed you all this, but the paper towels to, for when you clean it off, when you clean off the glass. And then the tape is, in case I do go ahead and decide to staple the, um, the stencil on. And then, of course, the paintbrushes. I have a whole lot of paintbrushes right here. But just pretty much any paintbrush that you want to use. And um, I also have the sponge brushes because when I did it the last time I used the sponge brushes, so I might use those again. And then I have a, a bowl of water sitting over here, so trying to get all this stuff situated neat enough for me. And then just a whole bunch of paints. And you want to use the um, enamel paint. Okay. And so this is um, by Americana, and I have the gloss enamel paint. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. Putting on these gloves. Oh yeah, I want to show you this other stuff for because this is what I'm gonna do towards the end. Using these rhinestones and a glue gun, I'm going to stick those onto here as part of the design. I have like four colors of these. And so these are um, self-adhesive, but I'm going to glue it on anyway just because for when, um, you know, when you get ready to wash the glass, you don't want it to, to come off. So, <coughs> excuse me, take the paper towel and just you know, pour some alcohol on this paper towel. And you want to clean this off, clean off the glass before you paint on it because you want to make sure that there are no um, fingerprints or anything like that on it, any smudges or, you know, anything that when you paint over it, you're going to see after the paint dries. And so I clean the inside out as well just to make sure so that I'll know that, you know, there's nothing on it. So if I see anything it's on the outside, I won't be confused if it's on the inside or the outside. And that's why I'm wearing these gloves to make sure that I don't get any, um, <clears throat> excuse me, any fingerprints on it while I am doing this. And with this paint, unless you have a kiln that you could put it in, it takes 21 days to dry. And since um, I got these glasses from the Dollar Tree, I don't know. 
or it says you can bake it. I don't know if you can put it in your regular oven or not, but since I don't know yet, yeah, it says heat to 325 degrees, bake for 30, uh, for 35 minutes. And if you're going to bake it, you have to wait for this to dry 20, for 48 hours, so two days, and then you could bake it. But since I got this from the Dollar Tree and I don't know, like, how the temperature this can be uh, baked to or, you know, how hot this can get, I don't want to put this in the oven and then it shatters. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it air dry on its own. And so, I have a little plate that I'm going to put the paint on because I have a little, um, I forgot what it's called, palette thing or whatever it's called that you put the paint on but um it's put up and i didn't feel like getting it so i'm just gonna put the paint on here i should have shook that up i'm not used these for a couple of months now so <clears throat> excuse me just put whatever colors you want to use and so I just put baby pink and I'm this one is the Razzleberry. And I'm going to also use lavender. And Calypso Blue. Then I have a metallic gold that I'm going to use. <clears throat> Excuse me. These allergies are getting on my nerves, y'all. And a metallic silver and a black. Okay, I'm gonna put some more <coughs> of some of these colors on here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And then you want to make sure if you do this project that you use the um the enamel paint. I don't, I don't think I just I mentioned this. You want to use the um, enamel paint because you want to make sure that um, that when you go ahead to wash your glass that you know the paint doesn't wash off. Because if you just use regular um, acrylic paint, it'll wash off. Sorry guys. So. I am going to use a stencil and you just want to put it you know wherever you want and so I was trying to decide if I want to tape this on here but I think if I tape it it's going to um it'll leave like residue from the tape so I'm not going to do that so I'm trying to find a brush that I want to use this is just the shader brush so let's see how this Turns out if this works as I think it's going to work. So I'm just painting on there, you know, just painting on the stencil. Only thing I don't like about this is you see how. Oh, see through like that. So, okay, let me see. Nope, that did not turn out right how I imagined in my head for it to turn out because it moves, so I would have to. I would have to, um, uh, what's it called? Tape it on there, and I don't want to have to do that, so. 
Let me start over. That kind of um, that kind of irritates me a little bit. Before when I did it, I did it freehand, and I didn't really like the way that turned out. So let me see. Maybe if I put it up at the top, <coughs> excuse me, if I tape it at the top, let's see how that turns out. This does not want to work with me. Okay, that's not working, so let me see. But it looks like when I pull the tape off, it's not messing it up, so I can put the tape on the outside. And it's not messing the glass up when I pull the tape off. knock that paint over all over me that would not have been good okay so let's see how this goes this time So when I do like this, like just pat it like this, instead of actually brushing it, it goes on thicker. Only thing is it leaves a little brush mark that I don't like. I need to find some brushes that are meant to paint on glass that will not leave that mark like that. So let me see now when I take it off. Okay, so that's a little bit better. And then after that dries, I can just go over it again with um, <clears throat> another coat of it to get it just how I want it. some more tape oh Jesus okay <laughs> I know y'all gonna be laughing at me whoever watches this video y'all gonna be laughing at me like why is she over there making making such a mess over there and I just got the paint all over my table get that now before that dries let me move this tape to over here so that I will stop almost making an accident 
And I think I'm going to try to use a different brush to see from this stencil kit that I bought before that I showed in my um, other, one of my other videos. See how maybe this will work out differently using some of the stencil brushes, which are uh, sponges. Whew, y'all, I'm making a mess. Let's see how this goes. Using the sponge might be a little bit better, so I might use that. Even this brush is better. It's more it's a little bit coarser than the other one. Oh my god, y'all. This is so much better. Okay. So yeah, this is the brush I'm going to use. Which it just says number number two on it. But yeah, this brush is so much better because it's not leaving um, like the brush marks and it's also making it where it's not see-through. So I will test, let y'all know what kind of brush this is at, in the bottom, uh, at the bottom of the video in the description. <clears throat> Excuse me. Only thing is it's leaving like air bubble marks. So let me see if I use another brush and kind of go over that or that of. Yeah, when I like kind of tap it with another brush, that kind of makes the um, air marks go away. And then you want to be careful when you remove it because you don't want to mess up the design. Which that one did kind of get messed up. Not when I took it off, but just when I was painting it, I guess. You can kind of clean it up with the paper towel, you know, before it dries. If you kind of get it before it dries, you can fix it before it dries. So this is my first time doing a video, uh, like a, a um, craft video. So don't be too hard on me if you all do watch this. <laughs> don't be hard on me, please. So let me see. Put it right here this time. I want to cut this stencil, but I'm afraid to cut it. I might cut it. I just don't want to mess with the little dots. Well, you know, I can make a dot on my own, I guess. So I might cut this so that it'll be easier me trying to put this on here to not mess up the other part that I've already painted. So I'll think about that for the future. But right now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay, so I'm glad I decided to try those brushes out because that was a mess what I was doing before. So I'm gonna put one more heart on it and then I'm gonna do like just the different designs on there.
Now I want to fix that up. <clears throat> fix that purple part up. Let me go get some scissors because I am going to cut this. Get that on the other piece of paint. Okay, so that's what I have so far. And now I'm going to go put some different designs in between the little hearts. Okay. These are the animal print ones, so I don't want to use that with this design. So I have these, which are little hearts and stars. Or those. I might want to put just some little itty bitty hearts between it. I think that's what I'm going to use.
Okay, so I got that one fixed up. Put another one on there. You want to make sure that the brushes are really dry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because if they're not, then it kind of messes up the way the paint looks on there once you do the paint. When, you know, once you put it on the glass, it makes it kind of watery looking. Excuse me. So I'm put one more heart on there and then I'll do just some little designs throughout. Maybe one right there. So that is what it looks like so far. And I'm trying to show it in both cameras just in case my laptop, because I like the color better on my laptop, but it comes out um, with the words not being synced. So there it is so far. And I think I might want to put some words on it, which I have these stencils right here. Let me see. If I can cut this without it getting messed up, I might put um, love on there. Or love and joy or hope or something like that. I might put that on there. got that off without messing it up.
think I'm just going to put love on it since it has hearts instead of adding some of those other words. I'm going to use this little thing right here to do it. That's leaving air bubbles in it. Well, the air bubbles are going away, but it's just not as thick as I would want. Well, let me see before I mess that up. Let me just leave that right there. So that's how that came out. But when I do it on the other side, I try to do a little bit better. I put maybe just one right there and then one right there. And then I'll be done with that. And then I'm going to put some rhinestones on it. No wonder the little E part, no wonder that E looks so messed up. The little part in the middle broke off. Oh, that, that makes me a little sad. I messed that all up.
Okay. Now, to fix the little part that doesn't have um, the ease since it got messed up by the little artist stencil coming off, I'm just going to put alcohol on this brush and see if I can fix it that way. No, I really can't, and I don't want to mess it up too much, so... Okay, so there we have it so far. And I like that so far, especially if y'all see the first ones I did because they did not come out right <laughs> with what I um used the first time. So I just want to go in there and just put some little squiggly designs or something. Here go that brush acting up. So let me see. I had another. I'll use this little thing.
Then I'm just going to decorate the bottom part with little silver dots. So I just did silver and black dots. Hope you can see that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna plug in my glue gun and get it, get the glue hot, nice and hot. Excuse me. This is the hardest part of the whole thing to me because um, it's hard to try to hold these little rhinestones. And not mess up the paint. Especially if you're wanting to put one of the smaller rhinestones on it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm tired of this cough. Got paint on the glue stick. I'm gonna have to go get another glue stick because um this one was pretty cheap. I forgot how much I paid for it, but I feel like it doesn't get hot fast enough. The nozzle or nose of it whatever you want to call it gets hot but the it doesn't push the glue through it get paint on the pants Okay, I didn't drop the rhino sound somewhere. So anyway, just put a little bit of glue, just like a dot of glue on the little rhino sound. And it's hard to hold these rhino with these gloves on, but I don't want to get any fingerprints on the glass. And then also, I don't want to get burnt by this glue, so it kind of helps having the gloves on, but... And this glue, like it's so, this gun does not get hot at all because as soon as like the glue touches the air or, you know, as soon as like it's out the little hole, it's already hard. So I, like before I can even get the rhinestone where I wanted it, the glue is um, no longer soft, so. God. Okay. I'm probably going to do the rhinestones later because I ain't trying to get upset on camera. But there you have that. So guys, leave any comments and let me know what you think about it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.